Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Docs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at activity. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically this little thing underneath the uh, user's name or anything like that. It's a client user thing or, a, you know, user, user, user thing. But basically, the first thing we're going to start off with is just adding something that it's been asked a lot um, within the Discord itself. Basically, now it ch changes everything in the message array to lowercase so that the command can be uppercase lowercase anything like that um but we're definitely just gonna head over to the ready event now obviously you can see that we have our ready event set up here and if you guys don't know what a set interval is i would definitely go check it that out but the first thing we're definitely going to do over here is set an interval and we're going to make it a function with an empty section here we're also going to open our params up and basically, we're just going to do, I think we can just, yeah, we'll just steal this pit here. We'll stick that in there. But we're also going to create an array of statuses. So if we just quickly do that, let status equal, we can look for the guild size. So how many guilds the bot is in itself. Guild dot size. We can also look for, I'm sorry, we can do the help. So we can look for help. Um, we can also be doing, hmm, we could also look for how many users the bot has itself as well. So users dot size, and then we can just do, I guess, users at the end, because that gives us a number, an integer. And then for all of these, well, all of these ones here, we can just add that. But then what we want to do is actually we might want to set this array outside of the interval, which would be a good idea. We can set it right here. And then here we'll do let status equal. And then we're going to do some random maths. Okay. So if you guys don't know what maths, uh, maths random is, basically it's going to look for what's inside the array and it's going to choose one out of there. So we're going to do math dot four and then math. Hold up. That needs to be a capital math dot random. And then it's going to be times statuses. Is this, yeah. Statuses dot length. So that gives us our statuses. So that is the status here. This grabs the statuses and chooses one out of the array. Now what we need to do is we need to change this type here because we no longer want it to be streaming. We just want the type to be watching. And obviously since we've changed it to watching, that means it's going to be watching X. So it's going to be watching then whatever comes out of the array. And what we want to do here is just change the status here to status to call this uh, variable or whatever let and uh, next thing we want to do is we want to set it just for this instance we're going to set it for five seconds but obviously um, let's just remove that let's say you want five seconds you just do five plus three zeros because we're changing it to milliseconds so just for this we're just going to change it to that and then that should be everything we'll we'll just comment this code oh sorry hold up we will uncomment this part because this part is something that we might need and basically we've got this all set up hit save um open up the bot and then this should be all good or not what's going on um oh sorry it's guilds guilds dot size and then uh, we gotta reopen this should really change the node mon probably be easy. what are you doing huh Oh yeah, there's a little bit of errors that there obviously is going to be a little bit of errors. I'm, you know, a little bit rusty. I made a lot of the tutorials a few weeks ago and now that is on. Um, let's bring this up. Look at the tutorial bot and it should change every five seconds. Well, I'm hoping it changes every five seconds. Interesting. Hold up. Oh, there we go. It's changing. Wonder if it's actually a five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. There's a bit of a delay on there, but obviously it works. Um, I guess I'll just speed it up.
But anyways, that's going to end this short tutorial today. I know it was a little bit short and normally you guys are used to longer videos, but I'm just, you know, not in the really best mood to be recording at the moment, but I wanted to get a video out for you guys. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video.